guys, what's up? Thank you for being here. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you so much for your love. If you actually are new here, welcome to the family. Today's video is going to be about piggyback from my last video on how to become a part-time reseller. Six tips on how to become a part-time reseller. So I wanted to kind of go a little bit further into that because it is, you know, some more steps that you probably do need to take if this is something that you would want to do. So yeah, I wanted to bring this to you guys and so it's still kind of fresh on my mind. So yeah, so let's jump right into it. again when you are sourcing for your items make sure that you look for really good items look for brand items go ahead and google what's trending google what you know what is hot and what people are actually looking for to buy if you are into selling clothes like i do google what's trending now what's hot all of that and kind of like you know go that way and look for your brands that way because you do want to kind of like stay in the area where you know that if you pick up that particular brand people will buy it and tip number two is going to be when you do pick up that brand and you know that it's going to sell go ahead and start to you know check for your comps do fair pricing on it don't go too high on it don't go too low on it but when you search your comps just kind of search be particular for what you actually are looking for Whatever you're looking for, if you have a pair of pants in front of you, look for that brand name. Try to find, to find that specific cut of those jeans, the style of those jeans, so you can kind of like get a feel and know exactly what you can actually price these jeans for. You know what I'm saying? You want to be specific because if you kind of plug in, okay, free people jeans, blah, 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 it's going to pull up, you know, all of the free people jeans that's probably out there but you kind of like need to narrow it down and find out if it's high waist, if it's low, you know, low rise or whatever. Specific on this, you know, the style and the cut so you can actually check it and make sure exactly you are getting, you know, close to what you actually are putting out there so you can actually come up with your price. And then once you do that, so check through the sell through rate to find out exactly how many of those style of jeans have actually sold. Okay, so that's gonna be very important also. And tip number three is gonna be, make sure that you are listing your items consistently. For me, I, by me working a full-time job, I basically will not get out and source and shop until probably during the weekend. I don't do anything, you know, through the weekday. So when I'm actually out shopping, and when I find whatever I'm finding, I get home, I may, you know, start washing, start ironing. If I have something that I picked up that may need to go to the cleaners, I go that way, put it in the cleaners. For me, when I do that, I'm basically getting everything together for Sunday. And then that's when I'm gonna list everything that I actually picked up, that I actually sourced for that Saturday or something to that effect. But, you know, if you can actually, you know, can, you know, list on a daily basis, that's wonderful too. But I say, you know, if Saturday or Sunday is your day to list consistently, do that. That is consistently for you. You know what I'm saying? It may not be, you know, every single day, but that is the day that you choose to list your items. Tip number four may not be that important right now because you will need to get a hang of just how you need to start listing and if you can put a little speed behind it and basically tip four is listing speed so and like i said this may not be that important right now but eventually it will because once you get in the groove of just listing everything you want to kind of like put a little speed behind you so you can actually you know get your items out there you know pretty fairly quickly tip number five is going to be when you start to take your photos try to be in an area of your home where you can basically you know the lighting is perfect for me i use natural light because one of my rooms where i started taking my photos at my window is like perfect for the natural lighting of my photos so just find a spot where you can actually you know take your photos and when you take your photos just make sure that you are being 
really specific on your descriptions of your items that you are listing to sell. You know, kind of make sure you put your, you know, your brand names out there. Just be specific, you know, on what you want to put out there. Also, too, with your descriptions, make sure that you go ahead and put your measurements on there because you will have somebody that will send you a message and ask you for the measurements. To save yourself some time, go ahead and put your measurements out there because that's very important. It'll save you a whole lot of time. Tip number six. So when you have made that sale and you are wrapping up your head and send to the buyer, go ahead and make sure you send that item out as soon as possible. As soon as possible because I know for me, I have always, since I've started this, I get my items out either that same day or the next day. I do not go over a day or two. I don't do that. For me, that's great customer when service. The customers see that you get the items out to them, most definitely they probably gonna come back to you and buy it from you again. So this is very important, very important to get it out as quickly as possible. Yeah guys, these are my six tips that I wanted to bring to you guys to kind of piggyback off that last video that I actually did on six tips on becoming a part-time reseller. So I thought yeah. also too that this was very important, very valuable to you guys if this is something that you wanna get off into. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. If you think you might like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and give me the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of videos once I post them. So yeah, thank you guys so much and you guys take care. Bye-bye.